top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 8th, 2019. Hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend this weekend, a little bit of rest and relaxation, kind of a holiday weekend actually, and I hope everyone had a really good time kicking on those barbecues and well, doing what you do on a holiday weekend. Um, let's take a look at what's going on in the market. <clears throat> um, Sunday, we had news that Duchan uh, Bank as, um, excuse me, Deutsche Bank uh, has um, announced a major restructuring. They're going to cut somewhere between 18 and 20,000 jobs. Uh, pretty massive restructuring, if you ask me. But honestly, that really hasn't affected the market all that much. It's, as a matter of fact, um, uh, DB is is actually down only slightly this morning in, in its look, um, turning just slightly lower um, on that news. So really nothing going on there that would be um, really market moving. And that was really the bigger news uh, that we had to maybe maybe move the market around. But what's interesting is the market seems to be disappointed overall disappointed that we have a strong economy here in the U.S. First Asian markets reacted lower to our stronger jobs number, jo stronger jobs number than expected, which would suggest that the FOMC may not have to cut interest rates. And it's interesting that the market is favoring, um, uh, and markets around the world seem to be favoring a weaker U.S. economy with fewer jobs uh, so that we can get a rate cut from the FOMC. And I find that kind of interesting that we will, uh, we will do that, that we've become so addicted to uh, low cost money, so addicted to an econo uh, accommodative um, uh, money policy that we actually favor uh, a weaker economy to get the government to start doling out money. Now, it just seems odd to me, but um, that's kind of what's going on. And this morning, the futures are just a little bit bearish because Asian markets sold off a little bit last night um, in reaction to that. And European markets are, well, just mixed this morning, just slightly bearish this morning, um, even though, uh, you know, that big bank restructuring over there is going on. So interestingly enough, we're just kind of in a glum mood this morning, not really bearish, just a little bit glum. And we've had an, um, quite a rally back in the futures um, uh, since overnight lows in the future. So right now, as I'm, as I'm speaking, Dow futures are suggesting a, a slip of about 62 points this morning. So let's take a look at what that might mean. Well, first off, we know we made new record highs here in the Dow. We were able to push our way right out here and make that new record high in the market. And we've left behind on Friday a bit of a, uh, well, a little concern, a hanging man pattern. Um, hanging man patterns are very important at the top of a price pattern. Now, I can't tell you that this is going to be the top of the price pattern yet, but it's possible as we push up here, uh, you know, uh, testing these uh, market highs. Now, this morning, it looks like we're going to receive a small gap down, a little bit of a pullback here below the head of that uh, candle pattern. And I think the only thing that's really going to be important uh, by the end of the day is how this uh, is how this closes. We're going to have to um, uh, wait and see on that. But right now, if we were to close this lower and maybe drop this down, that might be a little bit of a concern here for the market. Particularly if he, particularly if it loses the tail of Friday's low, if we drift on down below there. But as you can see, there is some price support here in the chart. And if we come across here and mark that up, there's some price support in here. So if we drift down below, we could still hold up really, really well. And let's keep in mind, um, overall trends are still higher. The Dow trend is up. And even though that we may be seeing just a little bit of a rest 
here this morning, unless those bull or bears really take a hold of it and start driving us lower, which I don't see them doing, at least at the moment, we could be just moving into a bit of a consolidation period. Remember, we have earnings season kicking off uh, one week from today when the big banks start to report. And so if we were to see a bit of a consolidation in here, just a little bit of a rest, I think that would be perfectly acceptable. As a matter of fact, I think that would show quite a little bit of strength in the market. But if those bears do come in and start pushing us down, let's take a look at those levels of support. First, we have that price support right in here to think about on the Dow. We also have this price support right down through here that could hold us. So we could move all the way back down into here. And I don't see too much of a problem with that at all technically. As a matter of fact, that could set up one of these W formations um, in the market, right? So if we watch that close, I think as long as we hold up in those levels, we're okay. And let's keep in mind, we're well above our 50-day moving average here. So we still have significant strength um, overall here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. SPY, um, actually much, much stronger than the Dow at this point having broken solidly out to the upside and if we look at any kind of a rest or pullback you can see we're looking at right now just a little bit of a gap down here maybe dropping just below the head of that little hanging man type pattern um, once again i think we're going to be fine unless we start giving up the the low of friday Let's watch that closely. If we start giving that up, we could see a little bit more selling come into play. But let's keep in mind we have some support levels in here, fairly significant support levels in the chart where we could try to find some price support in here. So any resting pullback in here really only sets up that opportunity for that lower um, excuse me, higher low in that opportunity for maybe some upside. So watch that pretty closely. Um, any rest and also a consolidation. In my opinion, after such a major run, a consolidation in this area would be nothing but a show of strength by the bulls. So let's keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues I do have a little bit more concern with. The NASDAQ um, just, I mean, it, it, it got its all-time high by a tick or two. Um, and yet on Friday, it looked like we could be in a little bit of a trouble pulling back, but those bulls found that energy to come right back up, um, push back up. Now this morning, we're looking at a small gap down, nothing major in here, but looking for that little bit of a push lower. And um, we'll have to watch this pretty closely. And the reason I say that is this really is the setup for that potential of a double top where we just really fail. Um, uh, um, I commonly call a pattern like this as the potential of a bearish M pattern. There's that M, that double top up here that could be forming. Now, I don't want to suggest that that is the case. And let's keep in mind that we are certainly still in a bullish pattern here currently so there's no reason to believe that that is going to happen just yet but we do want to be watchful of that keep our eyes wide open for that possibility let's take a look um, real quick look at, at our moving averages our 50-day moving averages right in here so we're in great shape as far as that goes we have levels of price support in this chart that we can um, hopefully count on you can see right across here and by the way uh, there's one of those double top highs and bearish m patterns that could be forming over here but as you can see if we get any kind of a rest or consolidation that stays above this area in here i think we're still in a very good bullish case um, if earnings can maybe turn us higher so let's watch for that let's keep in mind those earnings really kick off next monday uh citibank reports and we'll start rolling out with those major um uh, or big banks to kind of kick off the earnings season season and um you know that's when we'll, we could really fire into some energy here in the market maybe a little rest 
is just what the doctor ordered here. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM still is a concern for me, even though it is it closed above its 50 day moving average and it's trying to repair that situation here uh, against its moving averages. But we have to recognize the fact that this is still in this longer term downtrend. And all we've done so far is push up here to test that as resistance. Holding here on Friday was a good sign. And as a matter of fact, IWM is trying to hold up here this morning. It doesn't want to slip this morning. So IWM hanging in there. We'll have to watch this closely. If we were to fail again here at this resistance level, that could be um, uh, well important um, overall. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been a bit perplexing to me. Um, when the market was showing bearishness, a little bit of weirdness in the market, um, we didn't get enough response out of the VIX. And what's interesting to me is that we're really not showing any fear in this market. Now that can mean that we're just straight up bullish, that there is nothing to worry about. Um, but it also can mean complacency, that we've reached a point where we kind of believe that the market cannot go down. And when that uh, starts to build in, that's when we usually have some problems. So. If, I don't know if this is complacency that we're seeing here for just kind of dropping into that attitude that we could never go lower here in the market. But right now, um, our downtrend is still in place. We have another support level down in here. We could come right down in here and test this support level in the chart. So as of now, there's nothing in the VIX that is really showing concern um, about a market sell-off, but we're going to want to keep an eye on that in case this is uh, that possibility of complacency starting to build into the market. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four-week new high, new low ratio, and I get more questions about this indicator than about anything. Um, and I think because it's not readily available in a lot of places except on the TC2000 platform. Now on TC2000, if you take a look at this, um, I plot the um, T2122 indicator on just a simple line chart. And if we look at this, it lays out these upper and lower um, areas of support and resistance in the chart. It kind of tells us when we have reached that upper limit or that lower limit um, in um, a sell-off. So right now, as you can see, we're up here in that bearish reversal zone. We have kind of stretched this rally pretty darn hard to the upside and we're reaching that, that overbought condition um, in the market. Now I hate, I really hate using the terms overbought and oversold because I think they're well uh, overused terms and they try to relay um, the idea that we can't go higher uh, when I say overbought, but that's not true. We can go higher here. It's just that we may have stretched this rubber band just a little bit too tight and that a little bit of of, of rest may be in play. And, and that's what I mean here. We can get a nice pullback in T2122 and just a, a solid consolidation. So it doesn't necessarily mean we have to sell off strongly. It's just telling us we may have reached that limit up here. We're close anyhow, and we should be really careful on that idea of buying up a whole bunch of long positions right in here because we, we may be um, at that point where we could see that pullback in the market. So let's watch that. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot to say today. Um, we've got some bond auctions going off here. TD or Ameritrade um, IMX. Uh, don't expect that to move the market at all. And then consumer credit here at 3 p.m. Wouldn't expect that to move the market at all. So really nothing going on here on our economic calendar today for the market to react to. And that's really kind of the case for our earnings uh, calendar today. Our earnings calendar, very few companies reporting today. Not much going on. Um, as a matter of fact, a total of six companies reporting, and those companies, uh, none of them would be 
um, t- particularly notable companies and, and likely to move the market around at all. So the market's going to be left a bit to a, its own devices today. And it'll be interesting to see whether the bulls or bears, um, how they how they deal with this strong jobs number and the diminishing effect of that possible rate cut that um, seems to be heavily affecting the market right now. So let's keep an eye on that pretty closely. Um, With very little on the economic calendar, we could actually see that little resting consolidation um, this week. Um, Just a little bit of, of pause here while we rest. Now remember on Wednesday we have the FOMC minutes coming out. That certainly can create a little bit of pause in the market as well waiting for that FOMC minutes to see if it reveals, you know, any more help or support, whether or not the FOMC is going to be able to do something um, uh, with rates uh, later on next month. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look um, now. Well, first off, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that little bell icon. You know, guys, um, when you click those, um, um, thumbs up buttons and leave comments, it, it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. So if you could do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a short comment, it doesn't have to be much of anything. Just leave a comment. It doesn't have to be a, a long written thing. Um, um, but I, I, I want to say thank you to everyone who does that. Uh, our channel growth continues to move on up. Uh, as a matter of fact, it really hasn't even stalled. We're continuing to move on up. And that's largely due to you guys um, um, doing what you do. Click those thumbs up, leaving those comments. Remember, these videos are not intended to try and predict the market in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. It, it, it's meant to bring a, a bit of a calming effect to um, all of the hype and everything that goes on in the market, particularly during the market mor- morning, and helps us focus in on what we need to be thinking about for the day and how we may, we may want to approach the market for today. So that's the purpose of these videos. And I can tell you for me, um, going through this process um, every single market day is, is has been very, very helpful to me. And I've only seen improvement in my trading over the years and, and now uh, almost 15 years trading full time um, has only helped to improve and strengthen how I approach the market every day. So if you find this useful, please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family out there. And thank you to everyone who does uh, take the time to leave those comments. You guys are the best. I truly truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that are still looking pretty darn good here and showing signs um, of improvement. One I've been talking about here for a while is Target. Target, I've been uh, pointing out that if we hold above this level right in here, that we should be watching this closely. And you can see I had a price alert right here on this chart. And that has moved up nicely. I don't I don't know if Target's going to get a little bit of a rest or pull back here to test this as support, but Target holding up pretty well. You might want to keep an eye on that. Um, To kind of stay on the theme of retail, if you take a look at Walmart, um, I'm a long-term holder of Walmart, having purchased Walmart all the way back over here on this little green. um, This is a weekly chart. I've been holding Walmart that entire period of time and trading options around it. And right now, I couldn't be happier about Walmart and its position. Walmart holding up here, um, looking strong, staying strong. I would expect a, a little rest or consolidation here soon to pull back more toward this overall trend. But Walmart holding up really, really strong and maybe an opportunity for some upside trades here. Still, uh, we just have to watch and wait for that. Take a look at STZ. STZ has been one of those stocks. It's it's a defensive sector um, stock. And you can see STZ has gone through some kind of a, a yucky little protracted pullback here. Um, a lot of volatility in it. But notice what's happening right now. First off, we broke the downtrend. And now 
we're holding up here in this nice little consolidation. Now, I would expect this consolidation to maybe come all the way over here to the trend. Don't, I, I, I'm never, uh, as you can see, um, I'm always marking the trend, and you can see where I can get these great entry signals um, as we consolidate or move over toward trend. And, and STZ, and, and by the way, that happens in up markets and down markets, we move back toward that trend. We pull back, move back toward the trend, pull back, move back toward the trend. And the same thing um, when we start moving up, we start breaking through um, resistance levels and we start holding on and respecting support resistance and trend. So as long as we hold up in here, holding on to this little support level, consolidating across here, there may be an opportunity coming in STZ. So keep an eye on that. It's one of those patterns I like to trade a lot. And um, it just is a nice looking uh, potential trade setup. Let's take a look at a different kind of trade setup. This is called a rounded bottom breakout pattern. You've probably heard me talk about this before. Um, RBB pattern was something uh, my partner Rick Sadler came up with. And it's just a beautiful pattern that um, uh, pays over and over and over. It just really does. It's one of those great patterns. It just does really, really well. And that is, we're very, very oversold in um, in a market. And you can see that all of our moving averages start to flatten out and turn back up. Price crosses above. And when that occurs, I start watching a chart like this pretty closely. If this were to continue to rest or come back over here toward its trend, and holding above that 50-day moving average, I would want to watch this for that opportunity to um, catch a trade in here. Now, WBA could also just consolidate like this and then start to pop up. But I want you to notice that this open gap in here, there could be some good upside in this trade. And it doesn't have to move a ton to make you some really nice money in here, particularly with options. But um, WBA is one of those rounded bottom breakouts that are really looking nice and could be uh, just setting up for um, good opportunity in the trade. Let's take a look at Snap. Snap, there's that move back to the trend. It looked like this consolidating pattern here was going to fail, fail back in here, and then all of a sudden we touch on, touch on that trend, and up we go. And breaking through this resistance right in here, you might want to keep an eye on Snap. Now, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a little resting consolidation over here as we, since we broke through that new level but then let's keep an eye on snap for more upside in that chart here's another one of those patterns ttwo ttwo i talked about and talked about and talked about to watch right in here and ttwo breaks out there's that little pullback to come back and test that support level and then up we go ttwo still looking good looking like there's upside um, in that trade. MCD is another one of those charts. There's that nice little consolidation over to trend. We pop through, come back for a little test, and then off to the races to the upside. MCD looking uh, pretty good here. Like a, um, I would expect probably a little rest or a consolidation, but still looking very, very strong in that chart. So you might want to keep an eye um, on that trade. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Remember, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you to everyone who watches these videos. You guys are the best. I wish you a great day. I wish you great profits. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.